Well, in the last episode, I talked about how I made this giveaway kayak here functional. I've done what the winner wanted, which is a higher seat and pontoons to compensate for that higher center of gravity. And the skegs on the pontoons improve the pelican's tracking a tremendous amount. And then there's the cooler and the rod holders, the stand assist bar up front with the Scotty bait tray and the rod holder and paddle holders and the anchor trolley is on this. And I'm gonna give away the kayak with an anchor and uh, some line. This is going to be ready to fish pretty much. Uh, the only thing really left to do is to take these things apart, maybe polish the stainless steel a little bit, paint the PVC, wrap these handles here in grip tape like I did to these, paint the pontoons, paint the cooler, and after all that's done, it'll be ready to deliver. So I'm gonna give you now a quick montage of me doing all that work before we get on the road to deliver this kayak. It felt kind of funny to take apart everything I had just built, but to give everything a coat of paint really is very satisfying. And these things were just held in the screws and I wanted to use some bigger screws that were made out of stainless anyways. Plus the rod holders in the back needed a little flare on top. I think you guys have seen me do this before. It's pretty cool how PVC will bend when it's really hot. Again, I put a little paint on there to make it look pretty. I really like that the cooler here had a base coat that already matched the kayak. Then for the pontoons, I had to take off the gloss. Did that with some super fast sanding. Then they were ready for paint. Then there was a stainless steel that I had used on that stand-up assist bar. It was pretty gnarly, so I wanted to clean it up. The buffing wheel probably would have been better, but I used what I had. Now here you can see that I'm adding some knobs on the outside of the cooler. And the only reason for that is to make it easy to strap down with some bungees. And as far as the paint job that I put on the pontoons... Mm. No, I don't like it. I took them off and gave them a new coat of paint. And then, using a stencil that I made, I added some graphics to make them look like a Catch 2000. It was a little tedious but well worth it in the end. Now with everything painted, this thing was pretty much ready for delivery. All I had to do was rent a car and get on the road. And on the road we got, my friend Thomas and I drove through the night. We started just around sundown, and it took us about 13 hours to get to Louisiana from Tampa, Florida. 
there really wasn't very much to look at as we drove along through the night. Which was good, because we passed through some really nice watery areas, and I had a kayak with me, so <laughs> I might have been tempted to fish. And as the sun came up on a very beautiful morning, we found ourselves getting really close to our destination. Here we are crossing a bridge, I think, that is taking us from Alabama to Louisiana. Don't quite remember. It's a cool looking bridge though. A very industrial area. But just beyond that were some really nice areas in Sulphur, Louisiana, which is where the contest winner lived. Hey everybody, this is my friend Thomas, this is the rental car and we just drove all the way from Tampa, Florida to Louisiana. We've been driving all night and um, right around here is the house that belongs to the winner of the uh, giveaway contest. So let's go and uh, give him his new kayak, shall we? He told me that he'd be sitting outside his house, waiting for us to arrive. I knew we were only a couple of turns from seeing him. I'm looking for an excited guy to give a kayak to. Did I find somebody? Oh, you did, man. <laughs> awesome. I'm super excited, man. I've been up since 2 o'clock. <laughs> How long have I've been up since I think four o'clock yesterday morning? Oh my gosh! I mean, I, I, I he drove for a little while and I napped a bit, but well, that's good because I sure didn't sleep at all hardly. <laughs> here she is, man! I brought all the oh, accessories. It's beautiful, man! You got some nice areas around here to fish too. Oh, it's it's great, it's great. Um, we'll come on up, pull up to the front door, and we'll get y'all situated. Awesome. All right. Patrick had been waiting outside on a scooter, waiting for me to arrive. And he was definitely excited. It actually seemed like his dog was excited too. <laughs> Lordy Zoffinger, I can't believe you're here, man. <laughs> can't believe it. It is a pleasure. Dude, uh, it's wonderful to meet you, man. Wonderful to meet you. Hi, pup. God, this day, I, I have been so excited waiting for this day. Wow, we're going to take it off and show it to you right, right, off, right now. <laughs> Why wait, right? Let's do it. All right. Can you lift her up? All right. We're going to set her right down. There she is. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Pretty yak, huh? It's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. All right. Let's get it rigged up. <laughs> <laughs> Marty Zoffinger rigging one right here. I brought uh, stuff there. Let's see. Here's one of the <clears throat> one of the pontoons. That is amazing. I'll tell you what. With these ske skegs on there. Yeah. You have one on each side. This thing tracks I so, might get some so silver good. Paint and paint like a treble hook. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, I mean. This looks great. Right. The thing is that they work really good too. That's a, that's a really nice thing. So what do you just go, oh, that's in. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yeah, I left that kind of stuff okay. on there. And uh, let's see if I, there's any stuff in here. I'm giving you a bubbler. You see, I, I cut a little hole right there. Yes. Oh, this is a live well, too? Um, well, this is where you would put your bait. Like, okay. if you had shrimp or little shr shiners or something, yep. put them in here with your drinks and ice. And, and, and the bait. Alive, yeah, huh? the bait stays nice and cold. There's a uh, super spook junior in there. Wow. This is a sample of the plastic. Oh, yeah. Wow. That uh, Pelican kind of gave me some stuff and uh, a couple hats and all that stuff in there is for you. Man, that is amazing. So, and the rod holder's out back, and 
I put a Scotty sticker on it. I put this sticker on there too. This is one of my stickers. Oh um, yeah, the Kiki. Yeah, but <laughs> oh. you know, I mean, it'll, it'll be there. You can just put stickers all over it. That's how I like to do it. Because yeah. all these little holes, you can cover them up. Oh no, I, that, that looks great. I'm gonna leave it just like it is. Here's the bar I made for the front. Now this was inspired by the red kayak. Yeah, you know, I saw it and I went back and watched that video. So it just slaps in there, doesn't it? Yep. This six of those and uh, that's enough to keep it really sturdy. Yeah. So when you're pulling on it, it doesn't come off. If you want to take it off, you, you almost have to kind of wriggle one out and then, and then two and okay. three. Okay. Systematically take it out. If you find that it really pops out a lot, you could drill a hole and put and a pin. Put it, yeah, yeah, put a pin in there. I, or I just take that strap right here and put a little hole or, you know, put a little, yeah. little hook. Yeah. I mean, I got the impression you were a handy guy, so. Again, this is a, um, a thing from Scotty. Yes. And no, you can put a rod holder big. here yeah. if you wanted. Incredible, man. Just like that so that you can put your paddle here and that. But I thought the bait tray just fit there so good. This tray I got from an old restaurant, you know. <laughs> just kind well, of. That's great. That's what that stainless. That's, yep. Man, yeah, that's yeah. It's not that... going to corrode or anything. No, and plastic and PVC. Everything is wow. pretty much good to go. You got a camera mount here if you ever need it. And there's a cup holder there too somewhere. It might be in the truck that goes right here. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, the paddle. I just got the paddle in the mail from Pelican yesterday. This is their new version. This is yours too. I got a. Uh, picked this up the other day. This is a fake. Uh, well, it's a cooler, but I use, I use it for tackle. Here's a uh, fish grip. Fish grip. Wow. The, guy, the guys that make fish grips actually gave me this. And yeah, I, I was needing one of those for sure. And uh, that's. They are yeah, yeah. Red, white, and blue one. I got a black one at home. So now you got one, and I got one. You see, I put a little uh, clip on there so you can. Oh, okay. Tether it off, but they if float, it, yes, it they? also floats. And you got some drain plugs, an extra sticker for measuring. Just oh. I, threw, I threw a couple things in there. Built-in whistle on the uh, paddle. When you flip that out, that's a whistle. Oh man! Oh my gosh! This way you never, you that's never. Standing. Well, yep. aren't the kayaks supposed to have some form of? Yep, a uh, sounding device. Law, right? Yep. That makes you compliant. Yeah. And you would need that and a light. So if you bring like a little headlamp and and a PA, uh, uh, flotation. Oh, flotation. Of, okay. That. Then you're you're golden. This is uh, the lever. Oh, the whistle is the lever too. Yep. And oh, it's okay. a it's adjustable. Yeah, look at that. These are nice. They're they're really long. They're longer than the white ones, which is perfect for this yak. And Especially that's the water catch the water. Yeah. So don't get too yep. over you. And they they design them with this little thing on there. Yep. So when you Bring your paddle out of the water and hold it up. The oh, water it drips right there. It drips here and doesn't travel all the way. Oh, so you got this and that. Oh my goodness. It's a great paddle. Mine oh, soaked me. That's yeah. outstanding. Right? And of course, you can just set it down. That is a long paddle. That is awesome. You can make it shorter too. Like you, you flip this up, yeah, Patrick, and you kind of slide it. You can make it a little bit shorter if you need to. But and while you're standing and paddling, you can just set it down right here. It's not gonna fall off. Grab your ride because you've seen something oh, open it. <laughs> it's uh, and the seat, the seat. I got that here. This seat, um, it was an experiment, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, I saw but that. Uh, this can be adjusted for different weights as well. Like there's a little uh, mechanism in here. You okay. lift, lift the seat. You take that out of oh, that seat. Oh yeah, look at that. And the heavier you heavier you are. Well, we better put it on the heavy side. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little heavy over here. Well, I'll put it on 180. It's And you see it raises it up a little bit more. And that keeps it from oh, going Marcus. backwards. That is slick, man. Have a seat, man. Let's try it out. Oh, you know what? This handle is awesome. Comes oh, wow. in, aren't they on? Oh my goodness. It helps you up. The lift is incredible. Oh, this, yeah. this really. There you go. That's gonna. Yeah, if you ever see like there's a wave coming or something, you can quickly grab it. Yeah. It's right there. And man, grab the. Yep, your rod. We do everything from a standing oh, position. Oh my goodness, Marty. And it's not a big drop, it's a simple. It kind of catches you. Yeah. Sets you down. Man. Yep, yep. 
Well, I know I'm, I'm a big guy, and, but I love it. This is, <laughs> you, you've allowed me to have a kayak. You really have. Man. Uh, a few it, years ago when I was in Austin, I started watching your show, and I'm like, man, I got to get me a kayak. I went to Bass Pro Shops, saw how low the seats were. Yep. I said, man, there's no way. There's no way I could get one. Yeah, I think I picked the right guy. You, <laughs> you did, man. I'll tell you what. You did. That's awesome. Yep. Oh, man. I had it out for five hours when I did the meet and greet at Cockroach yeah. Bay. And paddling from a high position, seated, no problem. No problem. We went far, too. We did like five or six miles. And there was no no issues. My goodness gracious. So if you're in protected waters like back here, is that water right there? Yeah, it's a bayou. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna this hey, is this would be so nice for right I was there. Gonna tell you, hey, we can go out in the bayou and I haven't seen an alligator all year. The other day well, I saw an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Marty. Cheers, Patrick. Here's to uh, many happy days paddling. Oh, uh, it's because of you I'm able to do this. Wow. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Uh, that makes it worth the trip, I tell you. Oh, that's good and cold. Cold beer, smile on your face. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, well, it's been on my face for uh, several months now. <laughs> that's superb, Everybody's man. Everybody's like, what are you smiling at? I don't got a kayak coming. <laughs> <laughs> I love wow. it, man. I love it. I love it, man. People, uh, a few people ask, why are you going so crazy and building it so nuts? And it's... It's what I really like to do, yeah. you know, as a creative guy, as an artist and stuff, I've done a lot of creative stuff for work and for myself. Right. Well, I've seen some of your carvings. You know, the, the most rewarding stuff, though, is when you just do something for somebody out of, like the old adage says, to give is, you know, it's better than to receive. And when, when I started making this and I realized I was giving it to you, I mean, like these are the things I remember forever. When I'm on my deathbed, I'll remember yeah. building this for you. Um, making a sand castle up in New York, you know, and seeing people that didn't know me from Adam walk right up to me with big smiles on their faces yeah, and talking smile. to me like we were friends. That's what, what I was, I've got this ability to create stuff and it, it just brings out well, you and I aren't an amazing. Well, you and I are apart because <laughs> when I got the vehicle I have now, I donated my other vehicle to a family that couldn't afford one. And, and it's like, you know, Karma comes around. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the right. Blessings, they, they circle around. And, I, I agree. You know, when Is I it? gave it away, I sure wasn't expecting anything in return. And, <laughs> you know, you, it, you you opened up this contest, and I said, you know, gosh, a couple of years ago, if I, I was wanting to buy one, but the seat was too low. And uh, I'm happy to see you just get on it and use it. Oh, and look, I was like, yeah, I'm telling you. I, that's great. I can't that's wait awesome. to get on that's sweet, man. Here, cheers, dude. Man, God, this is beautiful. I don't want to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's comfy. <laughs> it, it is, is definitely it's super comfy. Comfortable. Patrick and I loaded up his new kayak into his family truck there, and our plan was to take it down to the salt water, even though he had a very protected freshwater pond or bayou on his property. We only had to drive about 15 or 20 minutes and we got down to a nice saltwater launch spot. We took it out, he was real excited, he wanted to get on it right away. He paddled around for a little bit and then was reaching for the fishing poles that we brought. He realized he could not only kayak on it, but he wanted to try fishing from it too. He went across the way over there and cast a few times. It was really nice to see him out there just enjoying it. Any fears that I had that Patrick wouldn't be able to ride on the kayak were soon gone. He was paddling around. The wind was pretty stiff too and there was a nice little current over there. He was doing it like a champ. He was even attempting to stand up. It was a little wobbly still for him, but he said he's on the mend. He's getting ready to lose a little bit of weight this was going to be a great motivation for him. He even let me take it out one last time. All in all, it was an amazing experience for me and for him. I passed the paddle off to him one last time. 
shook his hand and the deal was done. We took it out one last time just to paddle around for a bit, but him and his family had made me dinner, so we took it back to his house. And after we ate, he had a message for me and the sponsors. Marty's Offinger, thank you so much for choosing me as the Pelican winner. It's so appreciated. I want to thank Pelican for making it possible. And all the gearing from Scotty, uh, Fish Grip, Man, you guys, and with Marty's talent, made this a fantastic project. And Marty, I want to thank you <laughs> very much from the bottom of my heart. I want to tear up, bud. Oh, man. <laughs> thank you so much, it's man. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, uh, I hope you enjoy the kayak and get a lot of good years out of it, man. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> In fact, I bought a trailer online last night because it's going to go on a trailer. <laughs> very cool. Well, unfortunately, that's it for this giveaway contest. I have to uh, get in the car and drive back home on the long journey. And on the way, I might stop by and see some other folks. Uh, and I'll see you folks next time. It was sad to say goodbye to Patrick and his family because they really showed me the true meaning of Southern hospitality. It was an awesome experience staying with them. I definitely feel like I gave the kayak away to the right person. And then Thomas and I were back on the road and we stopped in Pensacola to see some special friends. coffee early in the morning and I'm gonna go fishing but today I have some special special guests we ain't special we well, you are, you are special <laughs> cool let's go yeah we're special all right <laughs>